In the mid-1960s, St. Nicholas was a small picturesque village about 16 miles southeast of Moralia. It wasn't a place military buses normally went. However, for GIs who had their own transportation, it was a favorite destination. I used to like to break away from my Iraqian routine and check out the tavernas and beaches in this less hectic area. And it was a fantastic place to meet and mingle with the locals, sitting and drinking with Greek men who spoke no English and who bought us as much as we wanted to drink and more, is one of my fondest memories of life on the island. Usually we made the trip to St. Nick's when Able Flight was on a three-day break and we didn't have to rush back for work. This allowed us to sleep over. From our previous visits to the area, we knew it was impossible to find a local restaurant with halfway edible food especially one that served American coffee, and coffee was vital. So before leaving base, we always stocked up on eggs and bread from the chow hall so we would have something to eat in the morning. In addition, I kept a jar of instant coffee and two coffee mugs at all times in my Jeep. After a night of drinking cheap Minos wine, and having too much ouzo with the locals, there was a routine that Don and I followed. I always had a raging hangover whenever I woke up in St. Nick's. So as soon as we woke up, we usually left immediately for the return trip to base. My job was to carefully negotiate the treacherous mountain roads while driving with a head that felt as though it was splitting in half. As I drove, Don sat in the back seat of the Jeep, cooking breakfast for us on a kerosene stove that I had purchased. He enjoyed waving to the Greek farmers in their fields as they yelled and frantically pointed to the smoke billowing from my Jeep as we passed by. When an egg was cooked to my liking, Don carefully picked it out of the pan with his fingers and handed it to me. That was breakfast. Usually any bread we had brought with us had been eaten the previous night to help soak up the alcohol we had consumed. That kerosene stove and the pan were used for more than just cooking eggs. We used them for making coffee as well. Don boiled water in the frying pan for instant coffee prior to cooking the eggs for breakfast. Both items became essential equipment for our overnight trips away from base wherever we went. GIs were always trying to save money. Here, in an effort to save a few drachmas, Rich Smythe and Able 202 make scrambled eggs on my small kerosene stove one morning while we stayed at the Minas Beach Hotel in St. Nick's. 